Three of the most commonly used crops in our households in Africa and the rest of the world. I'm talking about pepper. I'm talking about tomatoes. I'm talking about okra or okra. These three are up for cultivation. We are in the month of March. And this is the right time to plant or to cultivate these crops, you know, so that you can get a high yield. Okay, so that you can get a high, you know, price, right? So that you can meet the best price, the best, the best market price out there. All right. So um, today we are we are going to talk about these three, you know, um, these three crops that, you know, are very very um, necessary, you know, in, in in our households. And I've been saying time and time again that the crops. That are very important to us that we cannot live without. Basically, we cannot live without. They are very important in our daily dishes, in our daily meals as Africans. You know, they are the things you should, you know, prioritize when you when you want to go into, you know, you want to go into agribusiness or farming. Okay, now I believe you can watch. You can see or you can also hear a lot of information about pepper farming, about tomato farming, about okra farming. Now, I'm here to tell you today that the month of March is the month that when you plant any of these. And if I should add, I should, I'll add garden X. If I should add to the tree, I'll add garden X. You know, so you have tomato, you have pepper. You have, um, you have garden eggs, and then you have what okra. So these four, these four crops are very important in our homes. You and I know, we all know, okay. And because, and the reason why I was saying earlier that the crops that are very useful to our homes, you know, they are the ones that you should prioritize if you want to go into farming, because there is always ready market for them okay if you take if it is something like pepper i want you to mention th your favorite you watching me right now put it in the comment section tell me your favorite your two or three favorite dishes and let me see if you cannot find pepper in it okay so this is how you you try to find crops that are very very you know useful to us as human beings and which also transcend to mean that there is always ready market for it. Okay, so let's talk about, so when you talk about something like pepper, you know, like I said, mention just two African dishes that you are not going to find pepper in it. Okay, and this means that these type of crops are very important to our households. And when you go into them, you are likely to meet what? A very good price. Now, even with that, it's good to be very tactical. Is because of this tact tacticality or technicalities that I'm telling you that the month of March is a very, very important month for you to go into planting of pepper, planting of okra, and planting of tomatoes, okay, and planting of garden eggs, okay, because all of these, um, the, all of these crops are very, very necessary to us um, as Africans in our individual homes and the most important thing is that in the month of june and july there is always high demand of these crops in the month of june and july there's always high demand of pepper there's always high demand of okra there's always high demand of garden eggs there's always high demand of tomatoes okay fresh tomatoes for that matter okay so this is you know the beginning of the um the rains the, the the first rains of you know in ghana these are the first rains okay the beginning it will begin in april okay and one thing is that if you start if you wait and start in april before you plant you put into you know you use any of this information what is going to happen is that because they are seasonal crops and they take three to four months to uh, you know to to grow or to mature for harvest ready for harvest if you start in april you are going to you know have to harvest in august because 
May, June, July, August is when they will be good. They will be they will be okay for what for harvest. And by that time, by that time, there will be a lot in the system. And because of you know the the principle of demand of demand and supply, whenever there is a lot of these crops in the system, the prices that that's what goes down. Okay, so if you gauge it in the month of like February, March, February, March, and I feel like maybe this video should have come earlier, even though there is a, a, a video for it, you know, in our catalog. If you are able to plant in March, we just entered March, it's not too late. Okay, if you are able to go into it, you know, in March, if you plant in March, then you can, you can be able to harvest in July, early July. And then in July, you're going to meet what? You're going to meet the best prices. You're going to, that is the time that you can sell a, you know, um, a, 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 a bag of tomatoes or a box of tomatoes for like 4,000 cities, 5,000 cities. Yes, because during that time, there is a high demand for tomatoes. There is high demand for what? For garden eggs. There is high demand for for pepper and for okra as well okay so let me just let me just say in order of in order of preference okay among these four that i have mentioned pepper okra tomatoes garden eggs you might also even with that with those four you might also want to look at you know want to further sieve it sieve the list to find those that are very useful that are of high demand in if if you plant in 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 what in March that are going to meet high prices high market prices okay so if you want to narrow it down then you narrow it to what pepper and tomatoes because pepper and tomatoes they are you know among the four among the four that I have mentioned they are the ones that are commonly almost in every home almost in every African meal in every meal that you know of tomatoes or pepper is you know is found in it and is it like i said earlier it transcends to also mean that there is high demand and if there is high demand there is high market price for it and the and if you should go into it it's very likely that you are going to do what meet a high market for it all right last season last year in july you heard those you know, you heard those stories that um, um, a box of tomatoes was being sold, was being sold for as much as 6,000 cities. Yes. When you take it to, you know, the urban cities like Accra, Kumasi Takradi, you know, you can sell it for 8,000 cities, you no know, 6,000 cities. And the least you can get it is, is like 4,000 cities. All right. Now, Sometimes you want to go into it if you don't have this information that that is that this useful information. What you do is that you you just wait for when the rain comes, and when the rain comes, a lot of people go into it. Okay, let me let me just explain the trick to you. Let me explain the what the, the main trick to you. The trick is that when everybody is going into it, you want to stay aback. Now, when everybody finds it difficult to go into it, then you go. But what is that one thing that makes everybody want to, you know, not able or majority of farmers not able to venture into this crop? It's because of the supply of water. Okay, it's because of the supply of what? Of water. So what it also means is that going into, you know, farming of these crops in the month of March, what you should do is to be able to find ways of watering your crops. Find ways of what providing water, water for your crops. Because come to think of it, these crops are going to use four months, three to four months to harvest, right? Now you're starting in March, and natural rains are coming in what in April. Okay, so it means that even when you start in March. You are going to provide water, you know, by yourself for just at most one month. You see the trick? So for just one month, 
a lot of people don't want to go into it for provide for to be to provide your you know your crops with water for for like one month a lot of people don't want to go into it all right because they find it too too tedious and that is you know that is you know the 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 the, the loophole for people like you and I to go into all right so you don't want to wait for you don't want to wait for the the normal rains you want to provide you want to provide some sort of irrigation there are artificial irrigation systems that you can you know put in place even if you can't find a way you know to water it manually okay so i'm talking about in this case i'm talking about one acre half an acre two acres you know that you can you know uh, be able to provide um water right if if you're going to hire labor hire labor to do it you have to do it because <laughs> this is investment this is money business we're talking about and the good thing is that if you put in this investment you're going to reap it if you put in this investment you're going to do what to reap it even if you want to go into this you know modern irrigation systems in the first time it is going to initial cost is always you know high if you for the first year you're going to you're going to incur a lot of cost but you realize that for subsequent years you'll be able to do what you know to get it for free or you'll be get able to reduce your you know uh, production cost and then your what you, what that will mean is that your profit will be increasing because when your when your um, revenue is much 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 more than your production cost then your price it means your profit is also doing what increasing all right so let's take this opportunity share this video please like the video leave your comments if you you have been in a, a, a farmer of tomatoes of you know of pepper of okra of garden eggs leave it in the comment section let us have these you know interactions and um to be able to you know motivate ourselves all right so my name is yao asim pizzachere and as always this is Ashko TV, the official YouTube channel for Aceda House Commodities, the maize trading entity that you can rely on in the whole of Ghana. All right, until we meet in the next one, this is March. Take the advantage and plant some pepper, some tomatoes, put in a lot of time, take good care of it, and you shall reap from it. Let's have this good. Um, conversations and um, good stories of agribusiness. Bye-bye.